Hi, I'm Chris Ruff, Director of the Office of Ministries and Social Concerns for the Diocese of La Crosse, and I'm with Elizabeth Garibaldi, who is one of the local coordinators for 40 Days for Life. And we're going to talk in this segment about a, a very touching uh, effect of a 40 Days for Life campaign in La Crosse. Can you tell us about it? Sure. We pray outside of our local community hospital and outside of a local uh, family planning clinic. This year we were, did it outside the hospital in the fall and we were very blessed with the weather being much more mild than usual because we're used to praying out there in the rain and the wind and the snow and the cold. Um, it was a little bit more mild, but uh, towards the end of our campaign, we don't often see the fruits because we're not standing in, um, uh, in front of a clinic where the young women who are in crisis pregnancy are walking past us. We're really dealing mostly with the community. Um, God did bless us with a bus, put the, by putting a bus stop there, so we got to do a lot of evangelizing and community outreach um, with the people who stopped at the bus. And what happened with that bus stop being there is that uh, the bus drivers would see us every day, and many of them would give us a nod or a, heads, a thumbs up when they would go by. And on the 38th day, on a Saturday, which was one of the last days of our campaign, I don't usually go out on Saturdays, but I happened to want to just go that weekend and really just finish strong. And I came out there at about 11 o'clock in the morning, and one of our very faithful prayer warriors was out there and he handed me a slip of paper when I came out to pray with him and he said one of the bus drivers stopped by he was off duty he literally just drove up he was off duty handed the prayer warrior his phone number and said there's a girl who stayed on my couch last night she's 14 weeks pregnant she's homeless and I don't know what to do and I let it was a friend of his or a friend of a friend and he let him her stay on his couch, but he said, she can't stay here anymore and I need help. Can you people help me? I've seen you out here for 38 days praying and I thought maybe you guys could help. Wow. And so it took me about two days to finally get in touch with her. Um, and I stayed in contact with her for about three months, um, gave her some assistance um, trying to look for housing mm -hmm. um, and some food assistance, connected her with some of the local resources mm -hmm. and just gave her some moral support because she has been away from home since she's 17. She's 19. She has no good relationship with family. Um, a couple of sort of friends and some stepbrothers and sisters who are in the mm -hmm. area who are helping on and off but she's landed on the street a couple of times and, yeah. and each time she'll call me and we'll try to work something out. and. Yep, she's uh, hopefully she's she's very um, adamant about about keeping her baby. She's not abortion minded, but she just really needed help, and she's mm -hmm. truly in a crisis pregnancy. Well, it seems to me what this what this really shows is that forty days for life uh, is bears fruit on so many levels. Absolutely, and from 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 the spiritual level that that maybe we don't even see, but the power of God and grace that we don't even see, but then on this very tangible and personal level of people that literally we can reach out and help. And, and that's really at the heart of the pro-life movement is caring about the babies, caring about the moms. Absolutely. And, and there's such a gentle and loving face, I think, that's shown mm -hmm. through 40 Days for Life. So thank you for all that you're doing and for this beautiful story. You're very welcome. For more information on 40 Days for Life and, and related materials on pro-life stuff, uh, go to our diocesan website, dioceseoflacrosse.com, click on uh, pro-life information and resources.